Hello, this is Shamim. I am working as a senior web developer here in Microsoft Limited. We are going to cover one of the most important article in this tutorial, which is how can we select payment gateway from administrator or super administrator or a user. We are frequently asked by one questions. We are frequently asked by client. They ask a question about how can we select list of payment gateways but uh, all the list is not showing to our invoice page so here is the common mistake that we see most of our user do so here in this tutorial I'm going to going to assist you how can we overcome this problem of setting up the payment gateway so here I take our real estate script as an example in this real estate script I will show you how can we select the list of the payment gateways that we have configured previously so under our real estate or for your case can be any script so go to a details page or an order page so this order page will generate an invoice whatever the script that you are using it not necessarily has to be the real estate script it can be any travel hotel p2b autos and any script that you have purchased from Acre. so when you go to a checkout process it will create an invoice for you and under the invoice you can see there are the list of the items here and when you click on the checkout so I can remove it if, if I don't want something to be appear so or, or if I go continue shopping then it will keep adding more items so now when we check out we can see um, uh, uh, invoice details page and when if we are satisfied with our details so then it will take our, us to an invoice page with the list of the payment gateway. So now I am logging as an administrator. So now when I go uh, to uh, checkout process, it will bring an invoice page with a list of the payment gateway we have pre-configured. So once I click on the checkout button, so let us see how the invoice page comes up. So here is our invoice page. So user can pay us through this invoice page. So on the on top of this Ajax, it's trying to send an automatic message to the user who is who are going to order. So currently the invoice status is set as unpaid. And on the right hand drop down side, you can select the payment method how you want to pay this invoice uh, most of the user prefer PayPal to check out Payza, Moneybookers or, or any other payment method so uh, email sent successfully and you can see there is the list of the payment method which user pre-configured or admin pre-configured currently it is set for my bank only what, what we say is offline process is for my bank only so once we select my bank only so it uh, it brings an API of my bank so once we click on that so it will bring some payment information so the, what we want is uh, is to see how we can find the list of the payment method that is pre-configured by the administrator it, it means uh, how you can set your payment gateways to collect your money from your user so this is an administrator control panel remember you we are now login as an administrator control panel so some of our valued client use root or root control panel so make sure that you are working as administrator control panel or whatever the control panel that doesn't matter but the important thing is which account profile is set for billing so this is under our global setting area which remains under site global configuration so here you can see the user profile you can see this is the list of the user so generally as a site owner 
is either root or an administrator so here uh, in our demo is mr shami mridha is an administrator and super admin root is a root user so what is important is whatever the payment profile you set the billing and invoice will be shown according to the billing profile so now i as an administrator if i go under billing and payment gateways i open in a separate tab you can see we have list of three payment gateways set up one is paypal and another is bank transfer offline path method and in cc avenue so look at this we have three payment gateways set up but in the front end i can see only my bank you can see this i have enabled but in our inverse page look at this i have seen only one option called my bank why because uh, this is a common confusion that usually makes because although i select three payment method but my user is getting only my bank or bank transfer so my bank is no longer here but why my bank is shown by user and why not paypal and cc avenue because your billing profile is not set up correctly so look at this your billing profile is set for super admin as a root it's not administrator so it means whatever the profile that super admin set will be shown to your views to you to your visitor on your invoice page so now you can see your billing profile select your account means site owner profile is set for root not for admin so okay so let us log in as a root user so let us see what billing profile is set and what payment gateway is set for root user so in the root admin control panel i log in as a root and i am going under billing and payment gateway so i want to see what payment gateway is configured for root user means super admins user so now i go to billing and under billing there is a sub menu called payment gateways and under payment gateways i am going to see what payment gateway is selected for a root user aha uh -huh. as you can see on the number 7 only one is selected called bank transfer offline method mode only one is selected this is why this is why i can see only one payment gateway option because here no paypal is enabled no cc avenue is enabled so only one option is enabled which is bank transfer so and in our global setting i set up as root admins prof as billing profile root admins billing profile you can see super admin control panel so once i log into a super admin control panel i can see only one payment gateway is set for root user or super admin user where the global setting is pointing for pointing the billing profile of root user or super admin user so if you want you can configure your super admin uh, paypal or whatever you want uh, you can configure it here by uh, by going on edit mode uh, and and you can select and turn on your payment gateways using our in a, uh, easy interface so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one uh, paypal account for our super admin and currently we saw that our billing profile is set for super admin it means whatever the payment gateway set by super admin will only be visible to your customer so now i select paypal and i also select bank transfer as i also enable two payment gateways now is one is paypal and another is bank transfer so then i will expect my visitor will see two options so now currently i can see only one option but one from our next order i would expect my user will visit two option remember while i'm going to show you again uh, make sure that although admin control panel select three payment gateways but in your in your user they are viewing only one bank why because their billing profile is set for a root user so root user i have added one 
on i have added on one more called paypal uh, with our previous bank de uh, bank transfer and now i am going to create an invoice an order now and i want to see a new invoice to be created with the list of payment gateways that i have set for super admin so now i go to check out process so and here i am going to check check out and i want to see so i want to see and make sure that two payment gateways is set for our user so now i'm once i go to check out process it will bring again an interface of invoice and i will see in this invoice i would expect two payment gateways to appear again once i go uh, to our checkout process you can see uh, i can see two options one is paypal another is my bank remember we just configured a paypal for our super admin and i yes uh, i enabled uh, paypal recently and bank transfer was actually defaulted bank, bank transfer payment gateway was available in prior so now i have select two payment method for super admin and my billing profile is set for super admin that's why whatever the payment gateway enabled for super admin it is showing but from administrator control panel you can see we have three payment gateway setup one cc avenue is extra so if i go to our global setting area under administrative control panel so uh, now i am administrator now i am in administrator control panel so under our global setting area if we select a billing profile for administrator which is mr shamim mida mr shamim mida is a name actually is a username and and he is uh, currently administrator of this application so if i select the profile of mr shamim mida which is an administrator and which is i can show you uh, in on our user and manage users if i open manage users option on our different tab you can see uh, id number 2 mr shami mridha is the username and which role is currently as an administrator you can see this is currently uh, uh, is administrator mr shami mridha and super admin is super admin super admin root username and role is super admin so mr shamim rida is here as an administrator and so i select the profile of mr shamim rida uh, to collect uh, money from our user so it means whatever the payment gateway set up for mr shamim rida which is an administrator will be visible to our customer to collect money so i know that mr shamim mida has three payment gateway set up for him so one once i set mr shamim mida profile on our billing part so whatever the payment gateway mr shamim mida has will be asked to pay so now mr shamim mida that means as an administrator has three payment gateway set up so now i default mr shamim mida's payment profile to collect my bill so what i would expect so i will not get two payment gateway of root admin now i will expect a new payment new three payment gateways when i am going to order for an listing so now i am going to uh, redo uh, all process again and under our uh, selling area so i am going to order here again so remember what what change we make earlier the billing profile was set for a root or super admin and now the billing profile has been changed to an administrator which is shami mridha so mr administrator has a three payment gateways so now i am going as an as an user i am going to order for a listing or for a service and now i would expect whatever the payment gateway set up for an administrator which is shami mridha to be displayed so here i am redoing the whole whole process again and i am going to check it out and it will create an invoice and under the invoice the payment method would be paypal bank and cc avenue because our administrator has three payment gateways set up for him so now i click on checkout checkout process
so and, and it will uh, create an invoice as you can see in our previous two screen here again and I will see what payment method it has it has currently three payment method because the billing profile is currently defaulted for administrator which is called Shami Mridha and administrator select three payment ad enabled as ad administrator enabled three payment gateway for him so number one is PayPal number two is bank transfer number three is CC venue so here again let us go on our global configuration area and under the global configuration area billing profile is set for Mr. Shami Mridha it means whatever the billing profile you set payment will go to his own payment gateways so whatever the payment gateway is set up for this user payment will be redirected to, to that APIs so as you can see in our super admin when we select super admin as a payment gateway super admin has only two payment gateway set up and administrator has three payment gateway set up so when we switch from our super admin to administrator whatever the payment gateway set up for administrator is displaying so currently <coughs> sorry currently it is showing three payment gateways so I hope you understand the tricky part of uh, of uh, payment gateways and how you can set up the billing profile under your global setting area so I hope it is helpful for you and if you have any question please do not hesitate to email us and we are open to answer any of your questions or concern thank you for watching this tutorial thank you again